Non-citizens voting in some local elections is further igniting the tensions over the crisis at the southern border. Why is it in our country the only one dumb enough to offer incentives after incentive after incentive to the millions of illegal immigrants pouring over our border every single year? In the House, the concerns are bipartisan, as 52 Democrats joined all Republicans in voting to repeal Washington, D.C.'s law allowing non-citizens to vote in local elections. That's 10 more Democrat votes compared to a similar measure last year, but many Democrats say the effort is to meddle in local D.C. elections, disenfranchise black and brown voters who are fully capable of governing themselves, by the way, and erode the trust of Americans in our federal elections. The Immigration Reform Law Institute sued D.C. over the law, saying the right to govern is reserved for citizens and said in a statement to the Daily Caller, the proponents of this law claim it gives citizens of foreign nations a voice in the affairs of the city they reside in, but they already have a voice protected by the First Amendment. Non-citizens can vote in certain municipalities in California, Maryland, and Vermont. Meanwhile, the Biden administration is looking to improve immigration processes by giving federal ID cards to migrants. It is a further step towards legitimizing what has been an absolute travesty, nine million illegals crossing this border just in the last three years. When it comes to casting ballots, the Illegal Immigration Reform and Immigrant Responsibility Act of 1996 prohibits non-citizens from voting in federal elections. But proposed legislation to strengthen that law is making its way through the House. I'm Janae Bowens reporting.